Uh, I'm not quite sure how long that's going to be when I put it in fast forward. That was definitely a bit of running around. And I guarantee the story this guy was telling too was just like, hey, that's great. Let's see if you can do something even better. Kind of like what the captain was like. So here we are at the end of it. It says, you have successfully passed all the tests. You have the makings of a great artesian. I think you fully deserve to be a fellow of Incarnum. Keep helping the inhabitants of the Celestial Islands, and I'm sure the title will be awarded to you. Thank you. Okay. So that wraps up that quest. All right, we're going to go ahead and accept the rewards that we've collected so far. We are probably going to jump some levels here, so brace yourself. Ding, ding, ding. Three levels. That's awesome. And that put us over the level 20 mark, which was another achievement. So we'll accept that. Go ahead and accept this on all our characters. Nice. Oh, if I'd have thought about it, there's some loot that comes with some of these. We could have used that, I guess. Right, I guess I didn't end up needing it. Now I can just sell it or use it for crafts. And one more. Now, unfortunately, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have any better gear to put on these guys. But it's not like I be like, Woo! Reached a new level! I can put on this new set that I've collected. No, unfortunately, that's not the case. The gear they got is still the gear that they got. But we're so overpowered at the moment. In fact, we can go ahead and pump in our character points. See how we're at 75? We're about to put 25 into here. So when we do this, that's going to put it at 100. See how this just jumped up? two to one if i take that back down one point equals one point now that we're going to be at 100 total now it's going to be two character points equal one intelligence point so at this point this number starts going up slower but that's kind of a cool milestone to be reaching this right before we go into the dungeon so let's go ahead and put our points into each of these explosions she's also intelligent so we'll put it here this way we're hitting as hard as possible as we go into this dungeon. 25 into agility. Roll Greybeard. And then smoke and mirrors here. 25. Okay. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. And like I said, I don't think all this gear that they had me craft is not really worth anything. Uh, here's an interesting tip though. This set right here used to be the set that you would get when you went through all the Incarnum quests. The set that came with this, all these pieces, you didn't used to get that. Before, the this is what you were trying to get. And once you got all of these, you were setting pretty nice. And then after this, you would try to get the adventure set. And it was not near as easy to drop as it has been in here. They've, they've simplified it a lot more, actually. But yeah, I, I don't think there's anything I need to switch out on any of these characters, equipment-wise. This guy we're supposed to talk to. See what he has to say. Whosoever enters these parts, abandon all hope. And show me your key. No mere mortal enters the crypt of Cardurum, the Schaefer War Chief. Oh wow, we can find out about the Snoo Wolf. This teleport group thing is really nice too. This is a feature that you can use at all dungeon entrances. Or, well, most dungeon entrances. There's there's a f exceptions to the rule. But like if I ran over here with just tank and the other three were still floating off somewhere in another place, I can do this and hit teleport group and it'll send each of these people an invite and all they got to do is accept it and they get beamed right here to the entrance of the dungeon. Uh, it's a really nice way to make running to dungeons easier so instead of trying to flip through multiple screens like you see me doing all the time see when i'm doing this i'm actually flipping through four different screens one right after the next but this way i could run just tank all the way here click on this teleport group and then they would all get beamed right here so i wouldn't have to do all that extra running uh, it's also nice, too, if you've got friends that are off doing other things and you guys all want to meet up on this dungeon. All you got to do is make sure you're in a group before you send that invite, and then you can beam them all to your location. One thing to be careful of, though, if you try to invite people, if you teleport, you have to wait, I think it's five minutes before you can teleport again. So 
Uh, sometimes what happens is you forget somebody wasn't in the group or somebody didn't have a key, so they zap back real quick to try to get a key. And then they're like, okay, you can teleport me back. Well, you'll get a little message down here saying, you've got to wait two minutes and 48 seconds or whatever it might be. So just know that when you do do that, you're going to have to wait five minutes before you can teleport again. So we're going to ask about Snoo Wolf because that's actually who we're, this quest is asking us to talk about first. So we'll, we'll ask him about this first. Oh, I see. You, pre you prefer facing up to flesh and blood monsters rather than wandering dead. Is that it? Well, a matter of personal preference, I suppose. The Snoo Wolf has made its lair in one of the crypts. I often see it leaving to gnaw on some bones, but I'm careful not to approach it. I've managed to coax Schaefer's, but I won't even try and challenge a hairy brute capable of swallowing me whole. Where is that? Well, if you're sure you want to be skinned alive, there are several ways to go about it. You can enter the crypt, defeat Kadorium to reach the Snow Wolf's Den, or you can try the shortcut behind the old rusty gate. Well, since we want to do the dungeon anyways, we're going to go that route. Anytime you're doing a dungeon, even if you have a key for it, go ahead and use the bunch of keys because it's free. Why would you use one that you could sell if you wanted to when you get a free one every week? Here we go. We are officially inside of our first of what will be many dungeons, I'm sure. Okay. The way the dungeons work, in fact, if you bring up your map, there's very few dungeons that actually have a map inside. Most of them don't. You'll see up here it says first room. This is first of typically five rooms. There's a few exceptions to that as well, but most of the dungeons have been reworked to where you'll go through five rooms before you get to the boss. And I will show you the achievements for the dungeons once we get to the boss room. So I'm probably going to speed this fight up just so you can watch me blast through this dungeon and you don't have to listen to me just talk the whole time. room this is the tomb and there is cardorium so anytime you get to a dungeon they have achievements for every single dungeon so you, what you do is you click on achievements right here you will click the dungeons and they have them broken to the five categories one to fifty and this is basically the level of the dungeon here is the dungeon that we are in the cadorium's crypt and each of these first ones with his logo next to him are ways to earn extra XP and money. So we've already met the first requirement. We need to reach level 10, which we've surpassed that. And then for this one, it says defeat Kadorium in his dungeon, which is what we're about to do. Zombie. Character must use exactly one MP per turn. If we pull that off, we get this extra bonus. This one is you defeat him first. So on and so forth. 
duo means that you beat him using only two characters. So obviously I've got a team of four here, so I'd have to rerun it with just two. Well, I mean, all you got to do is fight him with two characters. So technically you could run the dungeon as a group and then split into two teams of two and beat him. But as long as you can beat him in less than 20 turns, you would get that one. The idle score is... Okay, I do have a few here. Okay, so these are things that you can stack onto a fight to give the opponent an advantage. So like, for instance, this one, if I equip it, it says it gives the opponents 50% increase in damage. This one gives all the opponents 1 MP. This one reduces distance attacks on enemies by 10%. And what you can do is when you put those on... Let's say I put this one on here. So we have a, a score of 15. Now, by making the fight more challenging, what we get out of the deal is we get a 22% increase in XP, an 8% increase in loot by having this one on. You can stack up to six idols on at one time. See, if we put both of these on, it's 64% increase and a 23% increase in loot. And there are tons of these idols, and there's actually several levels. So this is the lowest one, but they also make one that increases 100%, 200%, and I think there's even one that increases 300%. But that's what that achievement is talking about right here. When it says defeat him with a score of 8, it means to have an idol score of 8. And then this one is defeat him with an idol score of 200. If you manage to do all the achievements for this dungeon you then get the final bonus right here which means that you accomplished all of it and you've completely you know smashed this dungeon so you know I, personally i hardly ever work for duos just because i don't like taking on dungeons with just two characters i like to use a team plus i'm typically running a team so then to break up and do the fight it, it just it never really appeals to me the other ones I do enjoy doing, and the scores of 200 for our team would be extremely difficult. I don't even think we could get an idle score up that high. But coming back later to do that is fun if you're one of those completionists. You like to try to get all the achievement possible. You can come back and get that because you get 10 more achievement points. And remember, if you want to get over 19,000 achievement points, you don't want this little, little bit of 20 points here being what keeps you from getting there. So... I think that pretty much covers everything there. So what we're going to do, I think the damage and stuff we're putting out is really good. So we're going to definitely try to defeat him first. And we're going to try to get Zombie. And I guess we'll put on the MP Idol. Because I think that gives us a score of 8. Okay, yeah, that gives us 15. We'll put that on and see if we can we can do that as well. I'm We're way over capped. We're almost double the level cap. Now granted, our gear is not very good. But I don't think that's going to matter too much. So here we go. Hopefully I don't mess any of those up. The tank goes first, so we'll get him in there first. Down here. Let's see. I want to put him here. I want to put old Greybeard as close as possible. He's our heavy hitter right now. Smoke over here. This is the guy that will be a pain because he's going to run all the way to the other end of the map probably. Okay, cool. We get to go first, too. Nice. Alright, so we need to use 1 MP. And we need to try to defeat him first. Oh, yeah. 140 health. Yeah, we got that. Uh, let's see. I can't hit him with that. 54. I don't think that'll kill him. I'm gonna... 54, 54... Okay. I'm going to put this down, and I'm hoping that old Greybeard's going to be able to finish him off before this Harpooner kills an enemy. Uh, I didn't get to show you this, but I got my next turret, which is my healing turret. Uh, this is the Lifesaver, and this does an AoE heal. Now, again, this can heal me, and it can heal my enemies, so I have to be very conscious about where I put that down and where my characters are standing in regards to the enemies. Oh, I didn't count on him going over after that thing. Uh, wow, I can't even I can't reach the guy now. I don't know if killing summons counts as not killing him first, but we're gonna go for that. Cause... 
I don't know. We may not may not be able to pull that. Because I was expecting him to run down here to me, and then I was just going to unleash on him. But that's not how that planned out. Okay, so let's see how this goes. At least they killed the turret, so that, that'll help. All right. This out here just kind of helps block their ability to just run straight in here and cause too much mayhem. Unfortunately, my rogue, being limited to using just one MP, is not going to be able to do a whole lot at the moment. Yeah, yeah this goes. Um, Alright, another thing that I can do with my turrets and stuff is I can evolve them. So, Like, for instance, now I'm going to put this in evolve state number two. If I click on it, it'll show here evolve state number two. But now its heals and its range will be stronger and further. Once you reach Evolve Evolution 3 on any of these, each of my turrets will get a special ability. I don't think it'll matter so much in this fight. Look at that. He is hiding behind. He's really being a coward. I thought this guy was supposed to be big and scary. All right, we'll put that down just kind of save some hits. And unfortunately, I can't hit that guy because he keeps hiding. All right. Uh, we'll put the... Yeah, we, I guess we'll move this out of here. I hope that doesn't mess up the one in one thing. I didn't think about that. All right. Let's see. Teleport. That's going to... At least that'll put him over there on that side. Yeah, we'll go for that. I'll move him. Move that thing there. Can I reach it with my attack? No, I can't reach it with my attack. But at least... I can hit it. <laughs> it's better than nothing at the moment. Uh, I wish I could kind of block this guy's way of escaping. I wonder if I can throw a... a bomb there get on the other side of him because he's the one that's usually like paying because he runs all the way back to this corner but if I can trap him over near us that would help a lot oh yeah oh yeah all right I'm gonna back up against this to try to block the line of sight of it possibly healing him 72. He hits kind of hard. All right, this should finish him off, though. Now we can finally start finishing off the rest of these. Let's see, that might, might get him. Yeah, two down. I think we've all still managed to use our MP. Oh, I'm forgetting. I got it. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! That was a fake one. Alright, so let's smash you. And turn. Alright. Can I kick this down? Ah, perfect. Oh, but I can't. I can only use one MP, so I can't. Oh. Well, my plan was to throw my other bomb over here and he'd be right on a wall, but unfortunately I can't do that. That's okay. All right. Drop this on him. It's going to kill him. It's not. And then my turret will heal him because it's got line of sight. So what I'm going to do, since it's been three turns, I can recast it. I'm going to cast it over here so it no longer has line of sight of that enemy. Because it would heal anybody that has damage on it if it, has, if it can see it. And so that guy would have gotten a buff. We don't want no buff on him. Yay! Okay, now it should pop up. Are any achievements that we managed to do should pop up down here. Okay, maybe we gotta talk to this guy first. <laughs> He's in different spots on my different screens here. Okay, find out more I think is what we want to click on here. 
Uh, I don't particularly appreciate adventures in my crypt, but at least it helps to rally my troops. Nothing like a good old fight against the living to strengthen the ranks of the dead. <laughs> I was formerly captain of the Celestial Militia. The cemetery's curse wrenched me from my eternal sleep. I would rather be elsewhere, believe me. This death business is not just sitting around doing nothing. There we go. Okay, now our achievements are popping up. I'm trying to instill a semblance of discipline into the other Schaefers, but it's not an easy task. They are aggressive and disorderly, but most of them aren't so bad. Maybe one day the dead and the living will be able to live together without squabbling. One can but dream. Hey, let's ask about Snow Wolf. The rabid monster gnaws on Schaefer bones. It's lurking in one of the crypts, and I haven't been able to outs it. If you can teach it a lesson, maybe it'll flee. I'll show you the way. Oh yeah. Gain access. Let's see what this Snoo Wolf has to say. Grr, sniff, sniff. Sniffs your bag. Take out a pot of jam. Oh. Sniffs the pot of jam and starts to drool. Okay, let's give it to him. Hey, it's Hargnock. Has he been the Snoo Wolf this whole time? <laughs> Look at this <laughs> gobble bones right there. That's hilarious. Looks like I've lost a few hairs, but I can't complain. This fur on my back is stifling. That's where the Snoo Wolf went. He's in front of you, dimwit. I'm the Snoo Wolf. The beast bit me just before I crushed it, and it passed its affliction onto me. Now, I often feel this irrepressible urge to howl at the moon and gnaw on bones. Quite the curse, I tell ya. The man that he hands over is Dofus. Yeah, like there's going to be a Dofus up here in Incarnum. My Dofus? <laughs> it's been ages since I had them. I probably cracked them open and made myself an omelet. I love omelets. They're almost as nice as homemade jam. There again, someone could have stolen them. I simply can't remember what happened once my fangs pushed through. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's a wrap on that. Okay, now we just need to go talk to that... Becca Line, the wise lady. I think that's going to end the last Incarnum quest. Whew. Boy, this has been a... I mean, I, I knew there was a bit of questing going on here, but this is definitely taking... has taken longer than I had even anticipated. Announce that we found Hargnock, but he no longer has his Dofus. Do not be disappointed. Dragon eggs are so coveted that they tend to change hands rather frequently. If you are still committed to finding the Dofus, then I can merely wish you the best of luck and these words. Be patient and strong in the face of adversity. Say you're not the type to give up easily. I think it's time for you to leave Incarnum and join the World of Twelve. Or maybe you still have business to attend to on the Celestial Islands. Once you are ready to leave, speak to Master Sinson. He can be found in the Flight Zone. At the end of the way of souls. Oh man, it's almost sad. Our journey is coming to a close up here. It's amazing how when you actually go through the whole quest line, you actually spend a decent amount of time just right up here in the tutorial area. There's a lot up here. And this is all free area too. If You don't have to pay anything to play this section of the game. If you wanted to make four accounts, or you can run up to eight accounts at one time, well, I guess you could run more than that, but the biggest your team can be is eight people. So there's not really a point in running ten accounts if eight's all you can do. Master Sinsen. I am the guardian of the portal that takes you to the world of Twelve and Astrib, the city of mercenaries. Do you want to leave Incarnum? Reply that you'd like to go. That's what we want to do. Celestial Zap will take you straight to your destination, the Astrib city center. You can come back and see us in Incarnum whenever you like, by taking the portal in the other direction. The Emissary of the Gods can tell you more. Safe travels. Approach the portal. Oh, man. Let's see. What's our quest book look like? Does it say that we've completed... Okay, we have to use the portal first. All right.
they all come down? All right, we got them all here. Oh man, we're almost done. You are in the sanctuary of the Twelve. Can you feel the God's presence? They watch over the citizens of Astrob. Oh, look at that. There goes the achievements. The city of mercenaries is the first place visited by souls coming from Incarnum. It's a very lively place and something's always going on. If you'd like to explore the city, go and introduce yourself to the advisor, Arky. She's a woman of principle who is very invested in the lives of her citizens. She'll set you off on the right track. You can find her in the council tower. All right, we'll take that suggestion. If you start to miss the clean air of Incarnum, you can take the portal back to the Celestial Islands as often as you'd like. Thank you. All right, that take off the last. Yep, the quest is gone. Let's go to achievements. Uh, let's see, quests. Incarnum, look at that, 100%. We got a lot of zeros going on here. But look, also the main quest. We've knocked out the first step of the main quest. That's awesome. That's really cool that we've done that. Here's the next one. Looks like we get an emote at the end of this one. Uh, complete all the Astrobs main quests. So if those are anything like the ones up here, it's probably going to be fairly lengthy. So uh, we're definitely going to end this here. But first we're going to accept our awards, see what level we land at. Oh my goodness, level 27. So we went... Oh, that's awesome. All these all these resources, all these commas just popping up. That's great. Boom, boom, boom. We got some new spells in there. I'll have to look those over here um, between now and when I log back on as well. I like how the, the loot that you collect from stuff like that just comes floating up as well. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this quest through Incarnum. If you have any questions, or comments, suggestions as well, please leave those comments below. Much appreciated. And if you don't mind, hit that like button. Share it if you got some friends that play Dofus and they're uh, always looking for more English YouTube channels. I plan to be on that list. I guess that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks again for coming by and uh, have a wonderful day.